Joining us in the studio now is Peter Merrill of PBI Software. Peter created the game Strategic Conquest. Next to Peter, Eric Zocker of Silicon Beach Software. Peter, we talked about the kids getting all hung up on computer games. Is, uh, is your game any different? <laughs> oh, very definitely. This is a game that uh, adults really like to play. Uh -huh. What's the uh, idea behind it? Well, it's a strategy war game, uh, and over here I've got the map. Uh, the white represents water, the gray represents land, the black is an area that we don't know anything about. We would find out about it by moving some of our pieces into the black area, it would then become visible. So this is not really the earth, this is a, a mythical no. it's a, a It's a game that we generate with a random number generator. Okay. Um, in here now, in this current game that I've been playing, I own four islands here. Mm -hmm. The enemy owns these two islands right here. Mm -hmm. My strategy is to conquer this island. To do that, I've loaded troop transports with troops and I've dumped them off up here. Mm -hmm. uh, this creates a lot of confusion and draws him over here. In the meantime, I've loaded up a whole bunch more troop transports and dumped them off all along here. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go to the next screen and we'll mm -hmm. see the details of that. This is the screen that you normally use when playing the game. This is the island we're trying to capture. My smoke screen was up here. The computer, for demonstration purposes, is playing my side. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've got things like a, an aircraft carrier right here. These are jets flying around. You can hear the sounds of the jets as they move. We so would you normally be moving these jets with a point and click? Yeah, yeah. exactly. You point and click mm -hmm. like this. I see. Uh, down here we've got cities, and these light pieces are my pieces, the dark pieces are the enemy pieces. And these armies are now going in and trying to capture these mm -hmm. cities. Uh -huh. It says you just captured, you captured, you captured city. your city. So the key to the game is capturing cities because cities uh, make more pieces. The more cities you've captured, you the more you can... manufacture more weapons, and yes. et cetera. Mm -hmm. I see. The more you have, the more powerful you are. Okay, Peter, what is the bottom line object of the game now? Well, what you have to do is capture all the cities, and that, that lets you win the world. You want to uh, conquer that's the world, that's, that's the point, exactly like, right. like any that's, good game. That's exactly yeah. right. Peter, I want to ask you to get uh, your program out of there and load up the next one. I want to talk to Eric for just a second. You have two games you're going to show us, and the first one is called Beyond Dark Castle, which you describe as kind of interactive cartoon, which is a great phrase. Tell me what you mean by that. By that I mean... Um, it's, it's like a cartoon experience in that you control the actions of the main character on the screen. Um, there's a lot of detailed animation and car uh, cartoon-like digitized soundtrack that uh, makes it a lot like a cartoon for the people that are watching you play. Okay, I'm interesting. Let's see it. Okay, well, let's show it. Uh, we're in the game's practice mode in the middle of the swamp, which is one of the 14 rooms, and I'll go ahead and pick it up. There's a, a flaming eye that I have to destroy <laughs> before he destroys me. What, what are your weapons there? I'm throwing rocks right now, but there in one of the other rooms there's a, a special spell I can acquire from a wizard to have fireball capability instead of rocks. This is not strategic conquest. No. <laughs> No, it does. Okay, and you're trying to get to the end to get the... To get one of the magic orbs that I need to win the game. I just gave myself some gas. I'm in the practice mode, so I can do that. Three little helicopter. At the end of this swamp, there's a, there's a guard shack where one of, the, one of the five magic orbs is stored. Okay, this little guy's flying with his little private little helicopter thing, isn't it? That's right. Okay. And I believe we're almost there. There we are. All right. And I'll just stow my chopper pack here. The detail. Pick the mace up. Okay. You gotta beat Got him. Up. I've taken care of the dispatch the guard now. And now I'll go up and claim the orb. <laughs> okay. All right. And all I need to do now is fly back out and place it on a pedestal in the ante room and then go get the other four. All right, I guess that's a pretty good description, an interactive cartoon. That's really pretty neat. I want to ask you about the other game you have here now, which is called Apache Strike. And it, you fly a helicopter, but it's not really a, a helicopter simulation, is it? No, it's not really. It's uh, an action fantasy is what I would call it. The real objective that we had in designing Apache Strike was to get a real good action feel and really uh, get your pulse pounding. Okay, I'll go ahead and get, get my pulse pounding here. Okay, I'll go ahead and start it up. I'm going to start on level 20, which, where there's which? quite a bit of action. All right, what's, what's happening here? I'm flying the helicopter now using the mouse, and that's one of the enemy helicopters. 
And these are skyscrapers that I'm flying through. And, and where are you headed? I'm trying to find the strategic defense computer mm -hmm. that uh, gauge on, on the right-hand side of the screen, <laughs> ouch, <laughs> is the bearing and distance to the strategic defense computer. Now I'm 47 blocks away. And we just see that screen cracked in the right. What happened there? That's, that's my radar screen, which is normally very useful to have. But um, as you can see, uh, this program uh, will let, let parts of your equipment get damaged, which adds to the challenge on the more difficult levels. You just have to know where you're going, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and now I'll try and get and this tank. Okay, what's the, what's the voice we hear? That's uh, Linda, the lifelike inboard narrative damage assessment computer. And that's actually the digitized voice of, oops, <laughs> this one, of the tank. <laughs> one of Silicon Beach's <laughs> programmers. Uh, we're asking you to talk and fly a chopper at the same time. I realize that's, that's difficult. Mm. Okay, so you're trying to track down this the, what here? Strategic defense computer. It's, uh, it's the central computer controlling the city's defenses. And the mission at each level is to, to fly through the enemy's defenses to the center of the city and then destroy the strategic defense computer. Uh -huh. Yeah, you mentioned you're playing at level 20. How many levels are there in this game? Uh, you can go up indefinitely. We've got 500 levels programmed in. <laughs> you think anybody will ever get there? I hope so. <laughs> you can start on level level 120 or 40. I'm getting real close now. Hopefully soon Linda will say SDC sighted and we'll know. How do you I'm know right you're there. getting close from? Enemy behind. Oh boy. Out. Oh. <laughs> Eric, the uh, smooth operation, the smooth picture movement looks really, really good. How do you accomplish that, anyway? What this is is 3D animation with hidden surface removal, and the enemies are, are also have surfaces removed and are shaded. Mm -hmm. Bill Applin's, the programmer, has achieved quite a feat here to get 20 frames of that happening per second. It makes the game really smooth. Yeah, it looks good. Eric, what's the next step? What's the next technology thing that's going to make games even better than they are now? There's a new technology on the horizon called Compact Disc Interactive that's actually a home entertainment type of technology, and I think that has the possibility to introduce video and mm -hmm. uh, a lot uh, a lot of interesting possibilities. In, what are the current home. projections on when that's going to arrive as far as consumer products? I think uh, maybe uh, 19, end of 1988 uh, mm -hmm. is, is what I'm hearing, and the, the, a CDI player actually connects to the stereo and the television. And yeah, so contains you're, you're actively working on that now? Yes. Good. Yeah. Peter, real quick, what's next? Oh, with faster computers, more AI, and you just never know what's around the corner. Okay.